Hello, Captain Proton here and welcome to my first hopefully of many tutorials on modding and configuring uh, XBMC Kodi. Now it comes on three different platforms well essentially an OS like Windows or Mac and open the LEC. Well saying that there's there is Linux versions as well uh, which is for another uh, tutorial um, really but basically if you're on a Pi your settings will be in programs and from there you can turn on your Wi-Fi settings and or uh, change your settings to manually or automatically update um, your system and change keyboard settings extra etc etc there um, for the purposes of this tutorial which is actually recorded on Mac but my actual system is open lec and I have a computer on the network with all my hard drives the things that will be covered in this tutorial are system settings um, adding video files and add-ons so first things first once you've installed go to your system and uh, go to appearance and change your international settings to whatever region you are, you're in and your keyboard as well um, and change ignore articles when sorting the so if you want your movies that start with the properly in the list where they should be uh, turn that off and you can have screensaver if you wish and there is now a video screensaver which I'll get to at some point um, so what you need to do is go through all the settings and change everything accordingly um, if you've got one season uh, so when you go into a TV show and it's got one season if you uh, if you never flatten it you'll actually see the season folder I believe if only one season it will flatten it so therefore you won't see the season folder group movies into sets and once you've configured all your library which we'll cover in a little while you can uh, turn on update library so that once you've um, added all your files you can then restart uh, and it will automatically update your library and if you want to you can hide that and cleaning and exporting will be covered later uh, playback um, I normally turn that on to always sync to display and audio clock acceleration if you've got low end system leave it at default if you've got high end system use advanced shaders um, file lists if you've got files that are separate and you want them to play as one block then I'll turn that on uh, subtitles can leave that as it is unless you actually really need to change it um, if you've got a DVD player depending on your preference you can turn those things on and off Uh, I don't have a dongle for live TV, so I'll ignore that for now. Um, you can change things as you need to. Change the scraper if you wish to, which we'll come on to soon. Um, uh, you can change the visualisation if you wish to, for when you're playing music. Um, I think leave that as it is. If you got, if you like karaoke, you can turn that on. Uh, pictures. That's pretty obvious. What you need, whether you need to change things or not. Weather. Um, there is is none. So I suppose. Uh, can choose that one. Enable that. Configure it. Um, add your location but this isn't where I am whoops 
but I know somebody who lives there. That should, uh, yep, there we go. That's all you need to do for now. Um, not that weather is important, but you might as well set that up as we're going through the settings. Um, Add-ons. I can cover that after we've done actually adding of files. Services. Actually, if you don't have that, then don't turn anything on. Um, web server, turn that, turn that on and give it a password. It can be exactly the same or a different name. Uh, allow programs. That should be turned on. Airplay, allow airplay. Don't necessarily have to add a password because it'll be just be annoying because you don't need to. You can leave that as it is. System. Uh, if you need to do your video calibration, because if you're on OpenELEC or another system similar, your screen won't be um, calibrated automatically. Um, audio. This should be pretty obvious. If you're on TV, um, choose uh, HDMI. But if it's already working, you don't need to change it, generally speaking. Um, turn that on. I've never seen that before actually. Don't need to turn that on because if you've got the internet already and everything's working, then you don't need to turn that on. Uh, if you wish to turn these on, that's totally up to you. And you can, well, if you want to, you can turn your system on by remote. Um, don't need to do that. So once you've done all of that, um, you can you, at this point you could install a skin if you wanted to, but uh, the but the first thing to do is do your files. So I would go to add videos, browse, go to your system um, of choice, NAS drive, hard drive, or your network. In my case, a network. Then add each of your movies and TV shows as you need to. And then add another one and browse again. And do this for all your subsequent hard drives that have TV shows or movies on. Uh, and just for this instance, we'll just do two. Um, click OK and it will scrape the movies with the movie database but if it doesn't do anything it will clean the library but what you need to do is then restart and it should start to uh, update your library once you've restarted uh, it should start to scrape all your movies and or TV shows you'll have a basic menu like this um, and you should see, see all your movies pile up as it scrapes them um, and you can change the actual list of view I should say through this list um, depending on your preference but I don't use Confluence but if you're using Confluence, that's fine. If you want, if you've got a low-end system and you don't want to change your to another skin because it might be hardware intensive, but then, for instance, a skin should work on the Raspberry Pi quite well. If you've got a high-end system, you can pretty much do whatever you like. And of course, um, you can have icons at the bottom of the menu. Uh, so once that's done, if you do install a skin, um, what it will do, it will install certain add-ons. For instance, if it's there, uh, program add-ons, artwork, downloader, organizer, 
etc., um, etc. Et um, um, because once your library is c complete, even though you'll continually update your library as you add movies to it, um, you'll add more add-ons and you'll need artwork. So uh, installing that will allow you to download artwork from Fan Art TV, which I personally have contributed to myself. Um, and if you want to look up any of my artwork, it's Captain Proton, I think, or C Proton 69. Um, and if you say if you install Iron Mark V, there's an extra pack for that, and an, and an Ace extra pack, which um, I will do or already have. But this I'm showing you a system from from the ground up, so um, you can choose any um, add-ons that you want to install. A good one is backup. Although you can actually do it from the actual settings, um, there's now an add-on for that as well. Um, and when you do back up your library, say if you're going to upgrade from XBMC Gotham to Kodi, if you was to back up your library, it would only work on Gotham. Although you could import it, it would probably import everything, but you probably have problems with thumbnails and other issues so be wary if you do that um, I've done it many times I've done a lot of things that may not have, should have been shouldn't have been done necessarily but um, you know you live and learn you make mistakes you just do things because you want to see what it does um, but if you want to change from Gotham to Cody which I'm actually on if you're still on Gotham, I, I, I will go through how you actually upgrade to... Well, you don't really upgrade. You have to physically install um, Gotham installer to, an in, to a USB stick, and then you install it that way if you're on OpenLEC. But in Windows, you can just upgrade by downloading it, and it will uh, overwrite the one that you've already got, and it will just um, carry on where it, from, where, from where it left off. So you don't really need to configure anything. So it's easier on Windows and Mac. But if you're on OpenLEC, you have to create an install uh, stick. Which actually, if you're on Raspberry Pi, you probably have to do that as well. You have to create an install stick, download Raspberry Pi, and um, and then you can proceed to install, which I will probably cover at some point. But for now, right, we've got our library in. Um, we can change our views how you like um, and add-ons most of you are probably aware of what add-ons are and what you can do what you can get um, um, but for for now I think I've covered those three items um, adding video files, doing your system settings and some add-ons. So for now um, that's that. Um, so in the next tutorial I'll be switching to my system which has Iron Mark 5 Helix mod um, and I'll show you all the um, possible customizations that you can do. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.